holes on the cool mountain slopes, the ants usually go to sleep. But if it's warm, they keep hunting in the darkness. The chickens are safely shut away in their coop to protect them from mongooses. A few ants make a welcome high-protein treat for them. Trouble is, for every one that's eaten, there are a thousand to replace it. Most of the animals know what's going to happen and flee for their lives. The farm is alive with refugees. Tiafu may be the farmer's friends, but they're also indiscriminate. If it moves, they'll kill it. Fire is the only way to stop them in their tracks, even if it is too late for the chickens. Within a day, there'll be nothing left but beaks and bones. For the Siafu, the loss of a hundred thousand infantry is nothing, mere collateral damage. The night's campaign has been a resounding success. For the Maasai, Siafu can be a painful, even a dangerous nuisance, but they play their role on the farm. The Maasai understand them and know how to live alongside them. The real problems seem to come when a newcomer to Africa encounters driver ants for the very first time. <laughs> 